Hello, bearded bee people. Welcome back to B and K Bees. It is November 30th. I'm freezing my butt off out here. I'm watching some bees fly. It's got to be like 38 degrees. Um, some bees are flying, some aren't. I think these bees in this yard are doing pretty well. A lot of melted snow around the entrances and stuff, which is all a good sign. I'm not opening any hives or anything like that. That's definitely not what I would suggest doing at this time. Uh, but I did have uh, an interesting question posed to me the other day, and I thought I would chat about that for a second. And that is, what kills bees over winter? <sighs> I know a lot of us kind of tend to blame... Not, a lot of people tend to blame... Mm, things that aren't necessarily the culprit. It might be a secondary symptom of the death, um, like wax moths or small hive beetles or mice or anything like that. Um, but the, the true answer is usually starvation, mites, or an aberration. Um, or, you know, a, a too small of a cluster. Maybe something happened in the, in the fall. But usually cold doesn't kill bees if they have enough food. Uh, usually moisture even uh, doesn't kill bees if there's enough bees and enough food and they're healthy enough to deal with it. It can cause problems and in some extreme cases of cold snaps happening suddenly that, that can that can definitely kill the bees but uh, usually um, that's those aren't the situations. Usually it's uh, starvation or unhealthy bees and the unhealthy bees thing is an unfortunate uh, you know, <laughs> recurring theme when we talk about uh, the varroa mite. Usually, when we're talking about unhealthy bees not making it through the winter, uh, it's because of that, that uh, very familiar foe that we have, the varroa mite. So, uh, yeah, I mean, when you're trying to, hopefully you don't have a whole lot of deaths to autopsy at the end of this winter. Hopefully it goes nice and smooth for all of us, but... There's probably going to be some of us that are left scratching our heads in the spring wondering what happened. And I just wanted to bring that up and say, you know, really try to think analytically about it. Don't try to, you know, blame something else because you're, you know, fearful of the true reason or because you don't want to face it. Uh, because it's a lot better, you know, keeping bees with healthy bees and bees that stay around until spring. And it's just a... a better and more fun hobby for all of us if we can keep some healthy bees so try to think about those true reasons bees die if you are in fact trying to autopsy and figure out why your bees died so uh yeah um hey if you guys need bees for 2019 go to bkbees.com we'll have packages nukes and queens all available uh, otherwise if you have any questions leave them in the comments below i'll be happy to chat with you about that Get out there and have some freezing cold sun with your bees. See ya.